it's Fairy and welcome to this video. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how I do my makeup for my Kanaya cosplay. This sounds super stupid but I'm not a homestuck. Um, I used to be really really into homestuck. I have not been interested in it in like three, two or three years. Um, I am literally just cosplaying this uh, for nostalgia. Um, my friend Erin and I are doing Rosemary because we both used to cosplay regular Rose and Kanaya. Um, and I also just wanted to tackle something a little bit bigger than I uh, used to do with Homestuck, so um, again, I am not super interested in talking about Homestuck with anybody, so please um, don't ask me questions about ships or anything like that. I am not interested in that. <laughs> so this costume is just about finished. I normally would wear arm socks, but um, this is just for this video. I only put this makeup on for the video, basically. Um, so I'm not wearing arm socks and this cosplay is not quite done. I still have to make a few more bracelets and then there needs to be lace at the top of this. Um, and then I also need to secure down the hood thing to the top and then also cut holes in the hood for my horns to go through. And I have to fix this horn because it's broken. Um, but other than that, this is all done. I'm going to be wearing it at Daishokan. I'm hoping to get a photo shoot. Um, Aaron is going to be my fancy rose, so we're gonna be super cute together. Enough rambling, if you guys would like to see how I did this makeup, then here you go. All right, so the first thing I do before I even get started is put in my contacts. I can't remember exactly what contacts they are, these are right now. I can link them down below if I can find them. I know they're from Honey Color. Uh, and then I go ahead and put on my wig cap just so all my hair is out of the way right away. Uh, then I'm taking my light gray snazzaroo, as you can see here, and just a regular old makeup sponge. I'm actually going to go ahead and take the cap of the snazzaroo and fill it with some water. And I'm going to dip the sponge in it and just drip a little bit of water onto the snazzaroo. You don't want it to be super runny, as you can see it's just a little bit wet. Um, and then I'm going to do multiple layers of paint. So the first layer I'm just going to kind of smear it on as a base layer, and then the second layer I'm going to go over and pat on the paint. Uh, normally I would probably go in for a third layer, but because this is just for the tutorial, I only went with two layers. You can still see some of my skin. If you're wearing this to a con or photo shoot, definitely I'd do a better job than I did. Also make sure you go um, on your neck and ears as well. Once I am done, I rinse out my sponge and then I take my Ben Nye Neutral Setting Powder and this crappy old powder brush by e.l.f. and um, I just kind of pat it into my skin to set the makeup. You can also use a setting spray on top of this, but I don't have a setting spray myself. Then I'm taking this black eyeshadow from my Blush Professionals 120 palette and this really little fluffy brush. Definitely use a bigger brush if you have one. I don't have one, I need to get one. Um, but basically I'm going to be contouring with this black color. So I start on my cheeks, I kind of make a darkish stripe, then I wipe off my brush and try to blend it out a little bit with both my fingers and the brush. Again, this would be a lot easier if you have a big brush. I'm taking a, a kabuki brush here and trying to blend it out a little bit more. I don't mind if it's too intense because it is, again, a cosplay, which is totally fine. Uh, then I'm going ahead and contouring the sides of my nose as well. This time I don't even bother with the brush. I just go in with my fingers and really rub it out. Next I'm taking a green eyeshadow that's the same color as Kanaya's blood color and I'm using a kabuki brush to use that as a blush. Um, I use it on the apples of my cheeks and you will also see that I use it on the tip of my nose as well. This brush is really crappy at blending so again maybe get a less dense fluffier brush for this. Um, I usually have a really hard time blending it out so I use my fingers sometimes too and that works just fine.
Then I'm taking a black eyeshadow and an angled eyeliner brush and I'm going to be doing my eyebrows with this. They come out a little bit uneven. They're definitely sisters and not twins, um, but that's totally fine. I probably would have redone them if I was doing a shoot with this costume, but again, it was just for the tutorial. Um, I've also used gel eyeliner for this and that works out pretty well too, um, but I've found that the eyeshadow makes your brows look a little bit less fake and more like hair. Um, I personally prefer to use eyeshadow, but you can use whatever you like. I have naturally straight brows, so trying to make them arched is a little bit of a challenge for me, um, but I do prefer to have slightly arched eyebrows for Kanaya just because she is so lovely and such a beauty queen. Once I have the outline set down, I go ahead and fill them in with a black eyeshadow. I would normally set them with brow gel, but again, this is just a tutorial, so I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, using that as kind of a sticky base for my eyeshadow because I'm using the Blush Professionals palette, which is not the best uh, pigment payoff. So then I'm uh, basically just packing that same green eyeshadow onto my eyelids. I would probably use a little bit better of a brush. I think that's just the theme for this whole tutorial, um, but go ahead and pack that green all over your eyelid. Then I'm taking a very, very little bit of black eyeshadow and I'm blending that out. I'm not afraid to blend it up really kind of high, almost to my eyebrow, um, because again, for cosplay makeup, I don't mind if it's really exaggerated. I also kind of bring it a little bit under my eye, not too much because you don't want to look super sleepy. It's almost in a cat eye kind of shape. Once I'm done with my eyeshadow, um, I have to tight line my eyes. This makes me cry so much. It doesn't hurt, it just really tickles. Um, so I tight line my lower waterline. You should probably do your top too, but um, I literally can't <laughs> just because of how ticklish I am. I probably should have done this before I put my paint on, but I'm also going directly on my lash line and then smoking that out just a little bit. And here you can see my eye watering. Um, since the tear kind of ran down my face, some of the paint melted off because it is a water activated paint. If that happens, you can just go back in with more paint and touch that up and then set it with more powder. Next, I'm doing eyeliner. Normally I use this Too Faced sketch marker, but mine is all dried out. So today I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise um, in the black color. And I'm just doing a pretty basic winged eyeliner. Um, again, I'm not afraid to do a really big wing here. I mean, I normally wear really big wings anyway when I do my makeup, but you'll see me extending it out a couple of times. I just connect the wing back to my eyeliner and bring it a little bit under my eye. Um, you don't really have to do too much with that just because we already put the black eyeliner down there, but yeah. All right, now both my eyes are lined, so I'm going to take an eyelash curler and curl both of my eyelashes, oh, both of my sets of eyelashes. I don't know, what do you even say? <laughs> then I'm using the Too Faced Queen Size Mascara on both of my eyes. I'm taking these wispy eyelashes. I think they're by Ardell. I'm not really sure. I got them from Ulta like a while ago. Um, so I don't really remember what they are. I'm pretty sure they're Ardell though. Um, so I'm just gluing those to my face. I'm going to go ahead and curl them again just to blend them a little bit more. And then I do my other eye. And now we've got lashes on both sides, woo. So I'm still missing lipstick, but I like to put on my wig before lipstick. So here I have a headband that has snaps on it. And, um, oh, normally I would wear arm socks, but I'm not. I think I said that in the intro. But anyway, I have holes cut into this wig so that I can kind of dig through the wig fiber and find that little snap. And then I can snap the horns directly onto the headband. And that way you don't see the headband on the outside of my costume. So here I'm separating the fibers so that I can get to one of the snaps and I have found it. You can't really see it because it's black, but I promise it's there. Then I'm showing you here on the bottom of my horn, there is the other half of the snap that's just E6000 on and that just snaps right on. It's actually really stable. 
Um, and yeah, I just have that on both sides and it's really nice. I really like that. That one's a little bit floppy. I think it just has to do with how I glued the snap onto the horn, but it's all good. I will be fixing it. Next, I'm finally taking my NYX Liquid Suede lipstick in the color Alien, which is black, and I'm just applying that. All right, and once I'm finished with that, I go ahead and clean up the edges. This is a little bit hard when you have arm socks on, but it was easy because I don't. Then I'm just popping on my fangs. These are um, just like ones that you form to your teeth, so they just pop right on. And then I put on the rest of my costume, and yay, I'm Kanaya, lovely. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If there are any things um, that I didn't explain well enough, please let me know. I'll try to help you out. Uh, I've done this makeup a decent number of times because like I said, I used to cosplay regular Kanaya too. Um, so I have a fair amount of experience with using Snazaru and how, I don't know, how to put stuff on top of it, I guess. If you have any questions about the costume itself as well, go ahead and ask. Um, the wig I got from a con years ago, so you can't buy this online. I made this whole costume myself. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!